Hey, welcome back guys to the Zero to Mastery YouTube channel where we teach you how to go from zero to mastery. My name's Justin and today I want to be talking about the top 3 advice that I wish I could give myself if I could time travel back in time and tell little Justin what is the best way to learn software engineering. And the reason why I really want to talk about this is because I find a lot of my peers, a lot of my friends, a lot of the people in the Discord community have the same exact problem when they first start learning how to program. People usually feel frustrated, people usually feel like they're forgetting things, people feel like they're just not cut out for it. And I felt all the same thing. Even though I now have a full-time offer at Amazon and I'll be working as a full-time software engineer, I have felt the same exact way that many of you guys feel right now. And even now, arguably, I sometimes still feel the same way. I sometimes still feel like I'm an imposter. I sometimes still feel like I'm not retaining information. But the thing is that there are certain pieces of advice that really will make this entire journey much easier. And that's what I wanna to share today. So let's get into it. The very first thing that I want to talk about is actually road mapping out your journey. And this is really important. So I actually took a learning how to learn course from the Zero to Master Academy a long time ago. And I feel like this was a really important thing in terms of my learning process. That when I first started, I was pretty scattered. I didn't know whether I wanted to learn Python, JavaScript, Java, C++, that I want to make video games, that I want to make websites, that I want to make apps. And the thing is that you really just need to sit down and just do something, specialize into something. And the way that you're going to specialize into something is by first planning out a roadmap. So take a day, take two days, take three days, take a week if you have to, and just start pulling from different resources how you should go about your journey. First thing that I will say is don't plan out too big. Like for example, if your goal is to become the next greatest machine learning engineer, maybe don't set that as your initial roadmap goal, but maybe instead set it as create a simple machine learning model that can detect whether an image is a dog. And then from there, start to step up the complexity. The thing is, for the roadmap, you don't need to have it fully planned out all the way, but even if you can figure out the first few milestones and then have a sense of what that final end goal is, that is how I would recommend to build your roadmap. So the second piece of advice that I really wanna give is really just having set up weekly review sessions or even sessions every half a week. So what do I mean by this? Well, once again, quoting from the Learn How to Learn course, because you know, I really love that course in terms of how it taught me how to better optimize my learning, is that after the first day, you lose 50% of what you learn. And if you guys just had that light bulb moment, I feel that because that is exactly how I felt when I first heard that. It just made so much sense to me. Oh my God, yes. Anytime I learn something, I lose 50% after the first day you know, maybe if a bit more. And the reality is that because of this, you should be setting up weekly review sessions. What I should have done when I was starting to learn through tutorials and courses and articles online is that I should have written down the main points of the article or video. And then at the end of the week or in a couple of days, I should have gone back and reviewed it with my own project. I should have tried to implement a smaller project on the side and try to actually make sure I understand what I'm actually learning. Because the reality is that when you're watching a course, when you're reading an article, you don't need to struggle. You don't need to struggle to remember anything because they tell you the answer right then and there. But in order to actually remember it, you actually need to go back, you need to struggle, and you need to slowly raise that 50% that you learned back to 60, to 70, to 80, to 90, and slowly get it to a fluency where you can actually begin to understand or at least know how to comfortably Google the solution to what you're trying to tackle. So I feel like the old me, if I had to go back, I would have told him, you know, actually go back and review. I know that you hate reviewing, but you need to review. But I know how difficult it is. I hated reviewing, but it's just a necessity. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna be like me and spend a year of your time and then completely forget everything. And then you have to go back and watch entire video courses all over again. Like I highly recommend, don't waste your time. Just set up that, those weekly review sessions. And finally, my last piece of advice is that it is okay to struggle. It is okay to feel like an imposter. It is okay to not know what you are doing. Because I just felt like when I first started that everyone was so ahead of me, that I would never catch up. But the reality is that you can't see the world like that. You need to see the world like a game. Once again, coming from the learning how to learn course, it is really that you need to see the world as a video game. You are a level one character. And yes, 
you're going to be defeated by the big bad monster of JavaScript of HTML at CSS at first. But then as you level up from level 1 to level 2 to level 3, as you begin to gain these skill set, you're going to look back and see how far you've come. Yes, there's going to always be more challenges ahead of us, but it's okay to feel like you don't know everything, because that's not what a programmer is. What a programmer is, is someone who looks at a problem and says, you know, I am not too sure how to actually solve that problem, but I'm going to go and level up my skill and learn how to actually tackle that problem head on. I'm going to learn what is the best way to try to solve this problem ahead of me. You're not supposed to be a god programmer. There's a limitation to how much you can learn all at one time, or even just what is worth investing your time into. I just really felt like when I first started, I needed to know everything. But the reality is that even now, three years later from when I first started learning, I still don't know everything. I know a lot more, but there's so much more that I can continue to learn. But I need to tell myself constantly every day, is this worth learning? What problem are you trying to solve? And actually weighing my resources. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, leave it down below. And it always helps inform me what I should be making next. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or week.